Hi, my name is Ian Oswald and I'm going to show you how to download the IPython Enhanced Interactive Python Shell uh, and I'm going to show you how to download it for Microsoft Windows. Uh, first of all we need to visit the home page that's at ipython.scipy.org From the home page at the top we can see a link to downloads. If we visit this link first of all we'll see a list of downloadable files. Uh, this one here is for Windows, that's ipython-0.6.15.win32.exe. Uh, just uh, download this to your machine. Um, if we go back to the home page, then there are also some additional files that we need. We can see here for quick instructions, and if we scroll down past the Linux and Mac instructions, there are some notes for Windows users. Uh, and the notes here state that uh, we also need Win32 all, C types, and read line. Um, we can go to this section of the manual for details on these. Um, here we can see the three pages we need to visit. Um, I've opened these up in new tabs. So if we go across first of all to the first tab, which is for PyWin32. Here at the uh, home page of Mark Hammond, uh, there are various things that we could download. We're after the Win32 extensions, if we visit this link. Um, and here we have uh, the download page for Python for Windows extensions. Um, and there's a SourceForge download link. So if we visit this link, and here we have PyWin32 build 205. Um, this is the version that I downloaded. I've got Python 2.4 installed on my machine, so I needed the uh, Py24 download option. So this is pywin32-205.win32-py2.4 uh, .exe. Um, I downloaded this and ran the exe on my machine. The installation was fine. At the end of the installation it noted that uh, there was an MFC DLL missing. If we go back a few pages, there will be a note uh, here about the MFC DLLs for Python Win. If you don't have uh, this DLL installed and you're using Python 2.4 then you just need to download this file, that's mfc71.dll uh, and then you need to save it in your Windows System32 directory. So on most machines that'll be c colon backslash windows backslash system32 and you just drop the file into there. Having installed PyWin32, we now need to install C-Types. So this is the C-Types uh, page. I've already scrolled to the bottom of the C-Types page uh, for the download section. And here we have a link through to the SourceForge files. If we visit this link, then we can scroll down. And here we see C-Types 0.9.6. This is the version I downloaded. C-Types-0.9.6.win32-py2.4.exe. Dash dash uh, I downloaded this to my machine and ran it, and uh, it installed without any problems. And finally, we need to download Readline. This link for UNC Python Tools uh, has a link to download the various tools. If we visit that link first of all, then we can scroll down the page and we'll see a number of uh, projects here. We're after Readline, Python Readline 1.12. If we visit the download link, then here we have the download page. I downloaded readline-1.12.win32.exe and I ran the installer uh, and there were no problems. After installing the support files, I downloaded the uh, the uh, IPython executable that I downloaded at the beginning. Um, let's just scroll back to that link. So this was the last item that I installed. Um, having installed it, I just ran IPython from the start menu um, and everything ran fine.